Former Vice President Mike Pence is slamming former President Trump for his actions on January 6th. In particular, a reckless tweet sent at a time when Pence was hiding from the mob as they chanted that they wanted to hang him. Face the Nation moderator Margaret Brennan spoke to Pence about his former boss and why Mike Pence still won't testify on what happened that day. You had such an eyewitness view, sir, for four years. You have a credibility to say to the American public whether there is a risk or not of him being commander in chief. Well, uh, Margaret, look, we, January 6th was a tragic day. And I've been very clear, as I am in my book, that uh, the president's words and actions in and around January 6th were reckless. Uh, the tweet that he issued the day that I uh, was in the loading dock before the below the United States Senate, um, endangered my family and endangered people that were in the Capitol um, and was indefensible. The idea of relitigating the 2020 election continues to circulate, as you know that, amongst members of your party. Do you think that continuing to push these claims, as the former president does, is a direct threat? The 2020 election was not stolen. We have a process in this country where states conduct elections. Uh, questions of irregularities or fraud are then adjudicated in the courts. The states then certify electoral votes. And as we did on January 6th, in the wake of that terrible violence, the role of the Congress is to open and count those votes and to certify the election. We did that. And Joe Biden was elected president of the United States of America. I want to ask you, though, do you intend to ever sit and answer questions written in person for the January 6th committee? I served for 12 years in the Congress. It's inconceivable to me that one party would appoint every member of a committee in Congress. That's antithetical to the whole idea of the committee system. That being said, I never stood in the way of senior members of my team cooperating with the committee and testifying. Um, but Congress has no right to my testimony. You're closing the door on that entirely. Um, I'm closing the door on that. Margaret Brennan joins us now. I'm so fascinated by what the vice president has to say because he still doesn't seem um, willing to just totally condemn a full-throated condemnation of, of Donald Trump. Yes. This was your this was your running mate, your partner, and he's encouraging people basically to kill you. He could have been killed that day. Mm. I really do believe that. Well, Gail, I, I asked this question to the former vice president about 10 different ways to make exactly that point. Your daughter, your wife, yes. your brother were sheltering. Yes. Um, and someone uniquely positioned to talk about that day. Um, and Mike Pence is very careful here. I want to make sure that we point out that the January 6th committee does have two Republicans on it. Republican leaders chose not to appoint more. Mm -hmm. But in condemning the actions and calling the former president reckless and saying he was part of the problem. These yes. are all things he said to me. It's going right up to the line without completely separating from the part of the Republican Party that's very supportive of the former president. The Trump true believers, we call them on election night. Is that why you think he's reluctant? Because I I, I, yes. I think everybody would understand if, you, yeah. if he just said, I am very angry. This was right. very dangerous. I'm very hurt by this and very disappointed in the way I was treated. Because he was very loyal to Donald Trump. He was. And he still says to this day, I am angry, but. but and it yeah. took him yes. two years to say this. Say so this is going farther. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, we have a number of exchanges about that. But I made that point. I was like, if, I think most parents would say, if my child yes. was in the midst of this, mm -hmm. yes. how could you not be full of rage? He said, I had to move on and deal with the functioning of the country. But this is going to be a challenge for him and for other Republicans seeking the nomination potentially in 2024, where they have to thread this needle of separating from Trump the man, mm. from Trumpism the movement, right. which is a force within the party. Yeah, it's a fascinating conversation. and includes more than just January 6th that I know we'll see on yes. Face the Nation on Sunday. <laughs> thank Margaret, you. thank you. You can see more of Margaret's interview with former Vice President Mike Pence, including his reaction to the overturning of Roe v. Wade. That's Sunday on Face the Nation.